All right, so uh, we had Ash from Thrash Garage actually just dropping us back off. Mr. We Ketchum? Are, yeah, Mr. Ketchum. We're literally back at uh, the airport. So basically we were supposed to fly out last night back up to Rotorua, but everything got thrashed up there. Everything's destroyed. Now we were supposed to go to Napier, and Napier is underwater. Oh yeah, because that's where the van is, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so where we dropped off the van, that three and a half hour drive, it's completely underwater. There's no bridges. What, what, what's the, the status of that? So the van is floating. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. The ocean. <laughs> uh, apparently the airport, the runway was underwater, but apparently the car park wasn't, so it should be good. But we can't get it because the roads are all closed, so we're going to have to, we're going to fly back to my hometown, Rotorua, and do our weekend and everything, and we'll deal with Let's the van go in the mud another pits. day. Let's just deal with the band. Are you on the hot mud? Hot mud, I'm down. So, jumping on a plane, we'll be back in Rotorua shortly. <laughs> and we'll figure out how to do everything else once we get there. So the weird part is you literally walk in there, check in, and walk over here. There's no TSA, there's no anything. It's, uh, it's quite crazy. So, jumping on this guy, we're on our way. Okay, so we're sitting here, we're getting ready to get on the plane, and guy just starts randomly talking to a, an older gentleman. What, what's the story with this guy? So, I believe his name's Andy. Um, he picked me up, he's a rescue helicopter pilot, and he picked me up when I was 14 years old. I broke my femur, had a big motocross accident, and broke my arm and my femur, and he was the actual pilot that picked me up. And we've just like been in touch every now and then, like five years in advance uh, at a time, but yeah, it was cool to see him here. He's still still doing his rescue helicopter stuff and doing training and stuff so yeah shout out to him for uh, everything he does because it's amazing that those guys um you know save everyone's lives every day so it's good super super good guy man the guy was super into it too cool jump on the plane So, just landed in Rotorua. 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 All right, and where are you going, Jimmy? Because we, uh... Yeah. I'm not Jimmy, brother. I'm way better than that. Damn. <laughs> um, no, so I am going to be pretty much getting dropped at our workshop and picking up our Steph's S13 to get to Auckland because I have to go pick up Lucas from Australia. Drift Week! Drift yes, Andrew. so... So, yeah, one of the, one of the other Drift, Drift Week boys. Um, yeah. And where's he coming in from? He's coming out. I'm pretty sure he lives. I honestly don't even know. Australia. But somewhere. what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you these, and we're gonna wait for my our bag, the one bag. And uh, yeah, James, take this. Carry my stuff. Dana's just out there. Is your helmet it's so light? All right. It's a carbon. That's why. We're gonna jump in and head on out. Later. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. All right. So. Made it to the lockup. Uh, we are, I don't know if we're unloading stuff, not unloading stuff. He's trying to find some shorts. Are we leaving all this stuff in here for now? Uh, yeah. Okay, so leaving all the goodies in there. He's getting the cable. It is a mad dash. He has to pick up one of our boys from, let's find him from Australia. He's about an hour late because it took a while to find our bags and everything. And so he's gonna be jumping in this. Nick's in here working on cars, getting these things together. They still have the birthday balloons floating around behind you. So how's this thing doing? Good. Is it, is it ready to rip? Uh, handbrake, which is just here. Oh, FDF handbrake? Yep. All right, so the old handbrake was, wow, was obviously leaking and had all kinds of problems. So we're fixing this part of it. It looks like this car's good to go. We got the little like shank we needed on the other side as we picked it up down there. And after we fix this, we we're headed to some kind of tree place or something. I'm not too sure. Let's start working on this thing first get the side skirts back together, get the car looking proper, ready for tomorrow. Then we'll go on and continue our adventure in New Zealand. So they threw us out of the garage. They basically said, hey, go do something cool. Go to Rotorua, go check out different things. So we are, where are we headed? To the muddy pools. There's a lot of natural heat in the ground and it boils the mud. So we're gonna check it out. So, Volcanoes and such things. And you said that we cannot swim in this? Yeah. Well, there is, there, they do have the, the spa that we can swim in though. I think there is actually a little pool that you can put like your feet in. 
Is that it? Like just boiling water in the ground? What? Jerome, how funny is that? Just there's like a pit in the ground. So just you're just, uh, you're just walking around. It says thermal area danger. We should have brought some eggs. We could have made a good little omelet. And it's straight. I mean, it's like steaming hot. Is it like toxic? Can I go touch it? That's crazy. So, so it's it's hot enough to cook and boil eggs, and it is straight boiling right here. So, uh, this is something that's very natural down here, not very normal for us. How many do you have in Connecticut? My stove. <laughs> <laughs> Only indoors. So we found the spot. Look at this. It says no swimming or jumping in. Dude, feel the pulp like feel hot this is. Oh, what? It's so, so clear too. Like, imagine just like. I always think about it. Imagine it like 300 years ago before like technology and you just kind of like walk in. And you're like, oh, walk into the woods. The fuck? This is super crazy. Isn't that wild? Yeah, I mean, it's just in the middle of town. And it's deep too. So I mean, it just disappears down to nothing. It looks like there's something way in the bottom. A what? A trolley. A trolley? What? Like a bike? Like a shopping cart or something. Oh. All the way down to the bottom. And then they have natural ones too. These ones are cooled down, but it looks like you can actually... Oh, like <laughs> looks like you can actually go and like put your feet in it and relax. So these ones are, I don't know, they're natural as well, but I guess they're not as hot as, as these boiling ones. So is this like only in Rotorua? Or is this like kind of somewhat dumb? That's definitely what Rotorua is known for. Yeah, but there's like seeds everywhere. This is awesome. So. That's probably why they kicked us out of the shop to go look at all the natural cool stuff around here. Uh, we are, I guess we're just gonna keep on walking and checking stuff out. It's super cool. This It's not normal to have warm, crazy, bubbling water out of the floor for no reason. Whew, beautiful. I told you this side was cold. Well, it's not freezing. It'd probably be quite a lovely dip, but it's not boiling. Look at the color. It's crazy. It's like a Tropicana green, you know? Shoot. <laughs> so we have a new destination. Where are we at now? The Redwoods. Just the Redwoods? Yeah, it's the Redwoods. You, you know, you're this from is California. Super cool. Do you have trees like this in Cali? Uh, don't know. Not in, uh, not in SoCal, at least. Not in SoCal, but... Not that I know of. So we get to go run around up top? Yeah. Like little monkeys? Redwood tree walk. Yeah, big ass tree. These are quite big, quite large. There's all kinds of stuff within a couple minutes of each other. Oh, look. Looks like the whole map. We're gonna go run around and see what we can get in the tree. So we came out here. Here's the giant. It's the, the base of one of these things. Whoa, whoa. That's a good one. Got that one on camera. <laughs> That's crazy. Look at it. Four PC. This thing was when Jesus was born. This tree was born. No, we've done it actually. And then uh, World War II. Came down. Yeah. Don't know, but look. It's we came all the way out here and we're back in California at the Redwoods. Okay, would it, would it keep growing? That's right. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a puppy. And this is kind of like the size of them as they build. Like, as they grow. All right, we're going up top. I'm a little scared of heights, but uh, here goes nothing. Suck it up, boy. Yeah. She gave you a disappointed ass face. So I guess the first one was planted here in uh, 1887. So that this whole forest has been built in a very short period of time. And look, these cages seem a little. Uh, Rome's gonna be dancing in them later. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That these are the type of cages that, uh, that happens. I feel like you get stuck in these. These things come down on you, and that's the end of it. It's not. I didn't realize it was springy. Yeah, he, he was not ready for this one. Oh, okay. It's so bouncy. I was doing Yo, good. okay. I came on with so much confidence and now I'm like, oh. Okay, this is a little, a little sketchy. Hey, 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 you back there, don't you bounce this thing. Whoa, oh, oh. This might be rough. Maybe we'll do the low one only. I keep telling myself I'm not nervous and then my body's like, yo, get the fuck out of here. We're, we're low, low flying land creatures. Okay, now we're solid again. God, we're soft. <laughs> oh, man. 
So something that they did to help me and Jimmy out is they now took the floor away and now you can see through <laughs> all of it. They said, man up. And then you're like, okay, the wood is not so bad, but once you step over the wood, like, yeah, right? I'm not okay with this one. So you could only see straight all the way down through. And that is not very fun. And this is a long bridge. So, oh, okay. <laughs> we're we're going to make it though. <laughs> all right. So we need to fix this cooling hose here. Mm -hmm. Small right, so, leak. So small leak. Got that all taken okay. care of. There we go. All right. So we took another pit stop real quick. We are at Blue Lake and this place is super crazy. It's a... Uh, Extremely, extremely nice and actually quite peaceful. There's not very many people here. So, yep, just somewhere cool to kind of jump in the water, swim around a little bit. And now we're headed back. We don't know where we're headed. This is basically our tour guide. We just uh, say, okay, yes, ma'am, and she takes us wherever we need to go. Yes, look at that. I want to go swimming, swimming. How was it? It's good, dude. Just go swimming. Just yeah. Do it. Uh, we will be back. This is a guaranteed back trip. This is this is not the one and only time trip to New Zealand. I can't tell you that much. So, all right, I don't know. We're gonna go enjoy more. Okay, so I've noticed a common theme here that people have super, super, super cool cars, but keep them hidden, and uh, we don't always get to see them. So we came to the basically the person who took us all around our tour guide for the day, and look at this. In her driveway, she has a beautiful S15. Mm -hmm. Right, Jimmy, what are your thoughts? Good car. Good car, good car. Yeah, and then car. I heard there's another car over here. Look at this. Uh, so you open this Coupe. garage. S13 Coupe, Sylvia. So Sylvia. JZ. Yes. So but a super, super clean one. Look at all the teal on it. Yeah, she killed it. The couch can integrates with the tubs. So she built all this. And then you come here and look inside. So it's got a, the teal cage. It has the pink interior, the pink NRG wheel. Yeah, she has good style, huh? Look at that. Oh, the PBM Hydro. That's actually the same Hydro I run in my race car. So this is super, super cool. We're gonna start it. Low key, that's crazy. Some crazy wheels. All right, let's see, start it. I don't know what this damn start button is. Yeah, we don't know how to start the thing. There, you see a start button in this thing? No, it's probably hidden. Maybe you just turn the key? I just turned I just put this in and turned it. Okay, yeah, I don't know how to start it. Oh wait, is it a start dash? There's no. no oh the battery's probably dead. Oh well actually when she comes in, but this is super super cool. We'll get even the back seat delete panel. Alright, let's come check it out over here. Come on, you gotta come in and show us. Look, she's hiding. She's hiding in the doorway. Oh yeah, it is all deleted in the back. I didn't realize that. Look at that. She did all the work on it. How do we start this thing up? Oh, the switch panels are up there. Oh, that was... We would have never found that. All right. Thank you for the help. It's because you know you're too tall. Can't see up there. Exactly. <laughs> the door so we can get some light on this thing but check out how cool this is this is so genius to be able to cut this you can actually get the engine in and out of the front i mean that's i've never seen that before but that is uh 
That's pretty cool. That's definitely a, a smart build. So, we have Jimmy over here. What are you doing, man? Realizing I don't have Haltech software. All right, so, he is struggling to figure out how to plug in and tune it, but <laughs> this is uh, this is awesome either way. I mean, the catch can's all tucked in nice here. Like this. It's very, very properly built. So. Whoop. Okay, so we ended up going back to the guy's house, grabbing some food, some dinner, and now we're back at the, the workshop again, thrashing. So one car was done. They got that thing all taken care of. That's the one that we'll be driving in D1 tomorrow. It all starts tomorrow. And this is Jimmy's car. So Jimmy's car needs a lot of work. Uh, not because of him, just literally in general needs a lot of work. So we have first thing on this list is this exhaust doesn't pass tech. So it needs to actually pass the rear axle to be legal. So it doesn't pass tech. We're going to chop this thing off and extend a piece of pipe that we found. I'm not sure where we found it. We found it somewhere. So we're going to be adding that to it. Uh, we also have a couple things up here that need to be changed. Okay. So what do we got going on up here? Uh, a lot of everything. <laughs> There is lots a lot of oil. oil. Yeah, <laughs> lots, of, lots oil. of oil up in this. My friend thing. James is heavy on the right foot. <laughs> Man, that's good though. That's good. Wow, look at this. Is uh, I like the the plate so you don't burn through it. So looks like a tie rod's coming apart on this side. Uh, what do we got over here? We're missing a spacer on this one. This fell apart last week. Okay, so we're missing that. What were you guys looking at up top there? You, oh, I was just noticing the brake lines just flopping around. It's been rubbing through for God knows how long. Oh, okay, so uh, so possibly no brakes. Oh, All the oil. Look, look at that oil filter leaking, dude. The oil filter is literally dropping down oil off of the filter. So if I want to tighten the oil filter. Lines all twisted. Not that that's a great deal, but yeah, but we'll fix anything. we'll fix that. So okay. Yeah. This is the first time we've had this thing on a lift. So, so like, yeah, wow. we they wrapped it and then just full sent it. So <laughs> now let's see what Jimmy's doing over here. Oh yeah. I guess he doesn't like the two way at all. What are you doing, buddy? What do you got going on here? Get in there. Weldon. Jimmy, get in there. What are you building there, buddy? <laughs> so we're going to open in two way uh, a poly, or what is it? A, a posi. A posi. A posi. So you're building a summer slow change. A, a summer slow change. Summer slow change summer for slow the win, buddy. Woohoo! Send it. All right, we're going back over here as well. You guys work on this. He came all the way out. From uh, yeah, they from Australia to help us put a tie rod in. We didn't know how to do it, so huh? It's not my first one, so I hope so. There we go. <laughs> and then we got grinder here in the dark, one hand keeping it shielded. Full send mode. All right, man. What do we, what do we got going on over here now? <laughs> Come on, man. What do we got? <laughs> that cat. <laughs> cat. <laughs> Um, How thick is this? Is this like water pipe? Uh, it's been, I just cut on the wow. Just so no, but this is thicker than my roll cage. Yeah. That's pretty thick. But, it's um, like 10 mil, 10 mil pipe. Yeah. Um, so part of our regulations has got to exit past the rear dip. So we got pulled up on scrutineering for the last round. Brought it in the log book. Um, so we just cut the pipe here on the weld so it's nice and easy, but a thickness to weld too. And um, we've got a bit of a stainless bit of gut line going around. So we're trying to save some weight back here, I see. I love it. And now we'll chuck it through there. Chuck a hanger on it. And um, scrutineering guy should be happy. All right. Perfect. Here we go. Look, we still got Jimmy over here welding. Yeah. I I, hey, man, how much weld does this dip need? All of it. All of the weld. All right, all right. Send some more weld for our guys. Because he's uh, he's definitely trying to get this thing done. I mean, it's already I think it's already 11:30 at night, and we have to go to the track tomorrow. So it's already quite late. We're gonna get this thing on. Probably take a couple more hours to do it. Uh, I guess we'll just show you what we're doing on Jimmy's car to get this thing all properly set up and ready for him to rock and roll. Then tomorrow morning we have to go to the alignment machine uh, to go align it, and then after that it's straight on to uh, Mount Smart. So hopefully the weather holds up and it'll be a dry one. But 
let's uh, let's keep banging away on this thing and see how much more stuff we have to figure out and how long of a night it's gonna be. I see a couple more adjustments. We haven't even measured this whole car out yet to see if it's square. So we're literally playing with it for the first time, first time on the rack ever. Uh, and then we drove it extremely well last time with no adjustments. So hopefully this time it'll have a lot more adjustments and be quite proper. All right, so what are we up to now? Uh, we're still cleaning the It's clean, 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 because when you weld it, you just make a mess of everything. We do not want this in here. And this is basically just brake clean, right? Yeah, yeah, it's basically brake clean that's not in like an aerosol can. So do you smear it or not smear it? The oil's off your hand. <laughs> what? The oil's off your hand, you fuck it up. So otherwise you're just, like, you know, you brake clean it before you do it, while you're just fucking that up. You might as well leave the oil residue on there. Mm. It, it looks like Jimmy spearing it. Too late. Yeah, Are you smear or not spear? I'm a smear, but I guess I'm supposed to wear a glove because I got greasy fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so he's welding. He's welding over here, and now we're on fire over here next to this. <laughs> All right, so um, I guess we're leaving it there. That's the grease and the. That's gonna smell horrible in here though if we don't get that thing out. How are we gonna get it out? Throw it outside. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're gonna leave this thing burning. And Jimmy's rolling up the back half of the house now. Final tack do it on the car. Things always move. The final tack kinda sets everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone look at the light. Yep. Cool. There we go. And now it's all nice and tight. It fits, it passes tech. So if anyone sees the video, they can be like, oh look, it legally passes tech and it exits away from the, uh, the fuel cell. That's plastic. So if there's any fireballs or backfire flames, which there probably should be because it's RB. Uh, they come out this way and do not burn all this stuff. So I think he'll be ready to go. Should be nice and tight. Yeah, be perfect. And we can still get the diff out because that's something else we get to do. We'll talk to Jimmy on why. There's no funnels. And two, there's no like measuring cups or anything. So we know we need 1.5 liters of diff fluid. This bottle is 70.75 uh, liters. So we're just going to do two of these. Because we have this bucket. It's sort of different when it comes in, so. Um, you gotta, being a drifter makes you crafty. That's for sure. <laughs> so the plan is you need two of those full, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so last bottle? Yeah, last bottle. First be 1.5 liters. Look at that. Style points. Style points. Yeah, no Alright man, so why are we pulling this diff out in the first place? It seems to work okay. What's uh, up? Two reasons. One, it feels like it's about the grenade because the output shafts have more play than... Uh... Hey, shake this one around. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. And then... Oh yeah, that's good. That's proper. Yeah. And for some reason when we changed to the two-way, it felt like we lost a lot of side bite. Which, having a big bolt like this... I will take as much as I like as I can get because I need this thing to dig, right? So, and are we going to the same gear gear ratio? Yeah, or same gear ratio. ratio. I, I would have loved. I, I don't know the track, so I can't even guess. But four, uh, guy said four three, so I'm gonna trust the guy, and uh, we will see. Four What's three, in it right now? We'll see. Uh, four three. So we're same gear ratio, which is good. We got a scare, but we found a, a four three somewhere in the shop. <laughs> There's just R two hundreds everywhere. You, if you dig long enough, you'll find the right one you need. So, okay, sounds good. Yeah. And we, uh, what time is tomorrow do we start? I don't fucking, I don't know. What time do we start? I don't know. Uh, so we're going to leave at like nine. So in like four hours? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> we're going to be up soon. All right. We still got to get this diff out. We're so, are we swapping axles now or no longer axles? Yeah. We're going to inspect this right rear axle, not front and right. And... <laughs> okay, so maybe one axle and a diff and then we should be able to go to bed? It's mainly right turn. Take toe out? Hell no. No? Hell no. All of the toe. 
Yeah. So what does toe what does toe in the in the rear do? Uh, it helps a lot with forward bite, right? It helps the car drive forward in drift mainly. Honestly, that's how I see it. And I need this car to drift fast, right? So it's got a lot of weight. It's got. I mean, it should have enough power, you would think, right? But there's some pretty powerful cars out there. So if we can kind of trick the speed with the alignment, we're gonna do so. There we go. Hiding all the rest of the secrets. Yeah, exactly. Whoop. All right, let's get the diff out. Let's get. There we go. That's one way of taking a diff out. <laughs> Strong man's. Usually just, <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a lift like that. I usually bring it down and use a jack, but. That's, that's, hey, it's a man line, bro. Get yourself bro. a big old strong Australian fella and he'll, uh, he'll And you don't need a jack anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I do a diff change, I'll fly and loop this up. Race car CrossFit. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Got it in. Look at that. Holy He's his own Australian buff guy. Oh, you're fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Look, at, Look that. at that. Got it all on film. Man, summer slow change is getting a little faster. There we go. Did you guys want to change the axle? <laughs> yeah, it would be way easier to dip out. What, what, what do you think? I think that's a lot of play still. Yeah. I don't know. That's where you, you side oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's so, so, not approved? Jimmy does not approve that axle? Well, that's an emergency <laughs> axle now. Pen up, pen up, pen. All right, we can even add a, a Rome Soup of the Day here. If you can't get this thing off like that, you can cram a screwdriver in here and have five people fight it. And look at that. Keep pushing. <laughs> Fuck, I wasn't ready for you to pull it up. All right, I'm going to give it to Beans, right? Ready? Ready? Some drifter ingenuity right here. You know what it is? Because the spacer makes it, like when you pull down on it, it probably tightens it. You can want you put that thing back in there? I'm going to fucking yam that thing. So, you know what? Give me this pipe. Oh, just oh, Ready? Yep. Three, two. Dude, what the, <laughs> who the hell put this axle in? Oh, hold on. Yeah, get rid of that. Yeah, get rid of that. Do we have enough room? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yes. Get this thing down. Come on. <laughs> wow. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. So is that Dana tight or no? <laughs> now it's an emergency axle. How clacky is it? It's like a baby rattle now. So I thought we were working on the diff. What do you got going on back here? Uh, fuel stuff is all loose, a little loose. I feel safe. I mean, it's only a little bit away from the exhaust. That should be that should be legit. Leave the fish. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some good fireballs out of that. Copy Andy's on here. Is all set? Yeah. Ain't going nowhere. Good to go. As long as you say it, it's not gonna happen. Speak into existence. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we sent Guy on a mission. This guy went like two hours to drive to go get a GK Tech part, and we find out that it doesn't fit. Like it doesn't fit. So, uh, don't know. This is what the one was that came off of it. Wherever it is, it looks like this. And it's like off center and kind of weird. It's a little bit different one than this one. I don't know why, but they don't fit. It's now two o'clock in the morning. We're giving up on this. Tomorrow, basically, we're just gonna take this off, take that whole kit off, 
come over here and steal everything off of this car, which is his other car. And I, it looks like uh, FDF. We're just going to run the coilovers. Hey, there we go. He's going to win. He's got the good color coilovers. So we're shopping that whole thing over tomorrow morning. Then we'll go get this thing aligned, the other one aligned back there, and be all done. So we're calling it a night. We're over it. And uh, when parts don't fit and it's 2 in the morning, I'm, I'm out. I'm done. So, uh, yep, we're giving up. Throwing in the towel, and we'll start tomorrow. So, I don't know. Have a good night. All right. So, we found a hedgehog, like, in the wild. Are they prickly? Can you hurt them? I don't know. I've never had a hedgehog. Buddy? He doesn't seem that scared of you, though. No, he's petrified. He's... Can I touch this? <laughs> Is he okay? Are you good? I don't know, touch him. <laughs> I don't know if they, they bite. <laughs> oh, he's scared. Oh, he come hey, here. Buddy. Hey, no, 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 touch him. He'll be okay. He seems cute. He does? I just don't know anything about these things. <laughs> I, dude, I we, don't, my finger off of them. we don't have them in the US. All right, let's see, let's take this. <laughs> We got the light from the back. Oh! <laughs> I think he'd be okay. Are they sharp? Like, I don't know. Is he prickly? I don't know. Do you want me to touch him? Touch him. <laughs> oh. Oh. He is sharp. Should we Google this before we... <laughs> I think we petrify the guy. No, no, no. But what's, what's he going to do? Just... Oh, just it's literally a wild he hedgehog. He feels weird. <laughs> he feels really weird. Wait, what are you doing? We can't just leave him out here. He's a wild animal. That's what we're supposed to be. I don't know. He just chills. Are these supposed to be fast? I don't know. Or is that just Sonic? Hey, guy. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, what what's the deal with these things? Hit you, huh? Can we touch them? Yeah, but you just gotta wash your hands afterwards. But... Uh, why? Because they carry diseases. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the best thing, but... Do they, do they like, have teeth? No. Yes. Yeah, oh. they bite, yeah. Oh. They will? I, I mean, I, I touched him, he seemed well, okay. Might, might, like, Sonic the Hedgehog, you like... Really? Are they fast? Do they, like, shoot their little... their little prongs out? <laughs> you should come touch him. Hedgehog. A hedgehog. There's literally a hedgehog just sitting there. Alright. We'll leave you little guy. Oh. He's just hiding. Alright. So now that's definitely a wrap. That's the end of it. <laughs>